Hello lovely people, this is Nanam Kwantebisa once again and as usual I bring you greetings from the office of our boss and his team and as you all know anytime I come to you I come to you concerning bank statement building and so I'm here today as well to answer a question one of us um, asked on Facebook on how to build his or her account. The, the, the person would like to know if it's okay to keep dollars or do his savings um, in the forest, uh, the foreign currency or the forex with the forex accounts. And so that is what I'm here to address today. Yes, it is okay if only you are going to keep it. Uh, with a bank so as we all know we have dollar accounts euro account um pounds account british pounds accounts and all that so if you are going to keep your money with a bank let's say as a dollar account then it's fantastic it's very good you can do that savings and then when you are ready you can use that statement to apply for your visit provided you can meet the amount they are requesting for but if you are going to buy the the dollars and keep them on you maybe in your room or in your wallet with you without putting them in a bank and an account then it's a no it's a no the uh, the the embassies needs a bank statement so if every savings you are doing every transaction is not in a bank statement then i'm sorry um, they are not accepted so if you want to go the the the, the, the forex way that is fine because of the way the cd for some time now has been behaving yes you can keep a dollar account every little money you get you go and deposit into it that is accepted but you don't buy the Currencies and keep them in your room and keep them on you and wait till last minute when you are going for your your visa then you go and dump them in an account that is not acceptable so if you want to go that way start now keeping your accounts start now depositing the monies the little monies you get into the account and build it in a way that it will be okay it will be ready for you when you need it for your for your statement that is one and two i also would like to address that please don't wait it is that uh so it is last minute don't wait till a week to applying for your visa don't wait till you've gotten um an admission and you are required to apply for a visa before you start chasing people for for account building please no start now as you are applying for your schools start building your account start registering your business and one thing is if you want to go the account building way like we are doing then please get a business registration once you get your registration, you start building your account now so that when you are called to present your documents, they are ready. You don't wait till you, are, you have a minute because the account building is not done within a week. This is not, I don't do this full time. So when you call me or you come to my inbox asking me to help you because you've gotten an admission and you have a deadline to meet, to be able to present a statement. I will not be able to assist because I also I have to go to work. It's when I close from work sometimes that I'm able to meet my friends and then we we build our statement. So don't wait till last minute because nobody is sitting down waiting for you to come so that they do it for you. You have to do it and start now early so that you can also finish early. Thank you very much and hope to see you once again. Bye.